Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going over Theme Diamond 2 promo. Theme Diamond 2. Sorry. Now, the Theme Diamond 2 promo, we've been waiting for this for quite a while. Kralo's been talking about it for, I believe, at least three weeks at this point, guys. Theme Diamond 2 is really... It's going to be a fun promo, right? So, last year, just take you guys over to sets. We did get it... Um, similar time in the year and we got some really good cards out of it now if you guys don't know where this usually falls under it falls under here so we have team diamond ones which is series one our team diamond master was barry sanders guys this set was like the first set in the game this year the, this is like one of the first sets we had barry sanders from right around the beginning best running back in the game for quite a while now we've been waiting for um a part two of the set now this set typically contains legends right um like legend fan favorites keo spikes kyle williams on and so forth i'll go over that in just a second before we do go through the video guys and we start getting into everything Make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. Always come join the family, guys. Super important, helps out the channel. As well as if you guys haven't already, comment down below. And of course, if you need coins for anything, head on over to Muttcoin Bank down below and use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off. Now, here's the thing. Team Diamond 2, guys, like I said, fan favorites, Elvis Doomerville. And some of these cards are meta, right? Work done, meta, Elvis Doomerville, meta, um, Barry Sanders, meta, Adrian Wilson was really good. Eric Weddle was decent. Dante Hall was okay. Bob Sanders was really good. Travis Frederick was good. Mark Clayton was meta. Uh, Trey Vince. Trey Vincent was pretty good. Roddy White was eh. Justin Smith was pretty good. Uh, let's see. Mo Lewis was pretty decent. Asante Samuel was meta. Rich Gannon was good. Adelius Thomas was meta. Guys, like th these were good cards, right? Uh, Phil Lodeholt was good. Like all these cards are pretty good. So I'm excited for a Team Diamond too. I feel like that would be a really, really good promo. Now, when is it coming? I'd have to imagine pretty soon, unless they send them scrapping it, because they've been talking about it for quite a while. Now, in terms of the master, guys, some guy that like I'm gonna go into stuff in just a second, but in terms of the master, it could be anyone, right? Any legend. But there was a list of confirmed legends early in the year that we have not all completed yet, right? Like we had Joe Namath, finally came for the Super Bowl promo, like those kind of guys. So I do expect them to toss some more legends into this promo specifically where we could actually end up seeing it. Now, I'm excited. 32 players. Now, what would the overalls look like for this Team Diamond promo, right? How would it work? Now, these cards are pretty expensive, first off. So these sets do require players from the team. So this is where I'm getting excited with my very large binder right now, guys. If it requires players from the team, again, it could be a really good set to do. Now, I don't know if it would be all elites now, considering, you know, later in the year, like these were just, you know, base golds and stuff. Oh, sorry, some were elites, but... These are just base leads, right? We may have like team of the week players in here, you know, flashback players, where whatever players are from that team, they may pick like a certain list of players from that team and rock with that, right? That would make sense because obviously if they did golds again, I mean, gold would be cool, right? Because if you remember like back in the older man's again, man 13, positional heroes used to still use gold at this point in the year to do those big sets, but it was cool because those golds went for like some golds would go for like for 100k, 28k. So if you had a binder full of stuff, you could make some pretty decent profit off selling some cards we've had sitting there all year right kind of like investments which used to be pretty cool but um yeah they'll probably be regular elites now again what would the overalls look like so i'd imagine let's see i would say the master would be a 98 overall give or take 98 i think the lower ones would be 97s or 96s so i mean in this case it was a pretty big difference what would make the most sense would be a 99 master and then we get 97 overall players but I'm thinking of 98 master and the 97 overall players would make the most sense. But it could also be 96s, which I really hope they don't do because that would just be upsetting. Or well, I hope they kind of do it like this. I hope they do it with like an overall range. So our master is 99 and our overall range is 98 to 96, right? There could be some 98, some 96 is like the pending, right? So like, you know, and they can all be powered up to 99. That'd be pretty cool. Or like they'll all be powered up to 98, right? Kind of like before. Now, why, this, why should they do that? In my opinion, here's the thing. These are cool cards that will not get another upgrade. We're lucky that they, you know what I mean? Like these cards will not get another, whatever cards we get will not be getting another upgrade. That will be their final card more than likely. So it would be nice if we can get cards, like I said, like a cool legend. But if they give them a 96, you could power them up to 99s or 98s, right? So they're that kind of end game card. You could really use them all year. I would like that. Now, if you remember the solos for these up uh, for this promo, how would they redo the solos this time around? Again, let's go take a look at the first time they did it, which we went to Team Affinity, like I said. Team Diamond uh, 2. Team Diamond 1, sorry. Persistent pressure creates greatness. Team Diamonds are fan favorites. Complete them all to earn five players you can use in Team Diamond uh, sets. So you go to this. You were able to complete them all, and you were able to earn players that can go in the set. So again, it may be something similar. They may give you like fantasy packs that let you take players for certain sets. Could definitely be a cool, cool experience. Could definitely be fun to do now. Who are some guys that I could expect to see? 
One guy that I think would have a pretty good chance of getting a card in this promo, or even the master, is Terry Bradshaw. Now, Terry Bradshaw is one of the guys that were confirmed on that, like, EA legend, you know, people that they signed this year that, uh, you know, are still owed a card. So I think that Terry Bradshaw would be super, super cool. You know, again, you know, he's, I believe he has four Super Bowl rings, part of that really big, you know, Steelers run, Franco Harris, that whole time period. I feel like a lot of that team doesn't get much love in Madden. And I think Terry Bradshaw would be kind of similar to a Joe name, but like pretty, like very similar. I think he'd have a little bit better accuracy, similar speed. I, I don't remember. I mean, again, again I'm, not, I'm not that old. But I feel like Terry Bradshaw had slight mobility. I don't remember if he did. You know, again, I've watched old clips. I've watched old highlights. Not, not enough for me to really know him too well. But what would be cool, guys? I mean, Terry Bradshaw would just be another big name. I feel like he'd have a similar to Joe Namath build. He'd have high throw power. Of course, his card would probably be like a 99 overall powered up. So all of his throwing stats would be above 95. And, you know, he'd be an insane quarterback. Now, I don't know if he'd be a field general or an improviser. I feel like he'd be an improviser. Uh, for I don't, I don't remember what he was in real life. Again, played in like, what, the 70s, 80s. Um... If I'm not if I'm not mistaken, that's just a long time ago. Especially for me, I was you know I'm still 20 years away from that, from even being born at that point. Well, 2030 to be honest. But anyways, moving on. Terry Bradshaw will be a good guy. Now, guys, comment down below. What are some legend names that you can expect to see in this promo? Like I said, there's gonna be it's cool legends, right? They're all fan favorite legends. Now these cards actually held some decent value for quite a long time. So because of the way you build them, guys, the cards that go in their second value, like it, that's what's fun for it too. If you have those cards in your in your binder, you make some money. If you pull one of these cards, you also make some money. Because that's the thing. These cards actually hold value pretty well for quite a while. Just because of the fact that they're, you know, they, like, look, they're 80 overall cards. Still going for 30K. Why are they still going for 30K? Because you can't just get this card from a pack, right? To get this card, well, to make this card, you literally have to put together around 22 players. All those players go for around at least 1K to 2 to 3 to 4K. So you multiply it out, you add it all up, and there you go. The cards don't always cost around 30K. So there's kind of a set value with these cards. They don't lose value as often. So you can also buy them pretty easily. You know that they'll hold a certain value on your team, which is very exciting because a lot of the times, you know, you buy a card. You could buy like, you know, like, let's say Zero Chill, the Derek Henry that dropped. He was going for 350K. People bought him. Literally within two days of them dropping like Alvin Kamara, whatever else they dropped, Derek Henry dropped to around 200K, like 150K value. That's almost half the value lost in minutes oh in days sorry which in you know video game time that's so fast like gone that's a lot of coins to lose in a small amount of time so it's nice when we get cards that actually hold a certain little stock value to them like you know like i said these cards won't go below a certain value because of the cards cost to make them or because of their power up chain right now these cards again these are just overpriced cards you're more more or less they're really around 30k will they sell for that much it's possible now will the theme that will team diamond 2 upgrade these cards probably not they'll probably be a whole new set of cards which is fun you know this is where we got like victor cruz last year for the giants and a few guys like that like some fan favorites you know maybe tony romo but yeah guys, that's about it for the video hopefully you guys did enjoy if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn that noti bell come to give this video a big thumbs up as always if you haven't already comment down below what what's one legend from your favorite team giants jets saints falcons whatever that you want to see added to the team diamond 2 promo that's what if you guys need coins for this promo or need coins for any other promo or you're saving up, head over to Muck Coin Bank down below and use code Poodle for 5% off. Take advantage of the super cheap coins. But yeah, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully, you guys uh, had a great day. Check out my other video from this morning. That's about it. I'm out. Peace.